Samuel Edward Konkin III, the 8th of July 1947 to the 23rd of February 2004, also known as Three Swedish Kroner, was the author of the publication New Libertarian Manifesto and a proponent of a political philosophy which he named agorism. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Konkin was born in Edmonton, Alberta, to Samuel Edward Konkin II and Helen Konkin. He had one brother, Alan. He married Sheila Weimer in 1990 and had one son, Samuel Evans Konkin. The marriage ended soon afterward. Konkin was also notable for his style of dress. To show his anarchist beliefs, he dressed completely in black, a color associated with that movement since the late 19th century. On February 23, 2004, Konkin died in his apartment in West Los Angeles, California, of natural causes. He was buried alongside his father in Edmonton, Alberta. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Political opinions. Konkin considered libertarianism as radical. He was an initiator of the Agorist Institute. Konkin rejected voting, believing it to be inconsistent with libertarian ethics. He likewise opposed involvement with the U.S. Libertarian Party, which he regarded as a statist co-option of libertarianism. He was an opponent of influential minarchist philosopher Robert Nozick, and referred to Nozick's devotees as nosies. Konkin presents his strategy for achieving a libertarian society in his aforementioned manifesto. Since he rejected voting and other means by which people typically attempt social change, he encouraged people to withdraw their consent from the state by devoting their economic activities to black market and gray market sources, which would not be taxed or regulated. Konkin called transactions on these markets, as well as other activities that bypassed the state, counter economics. Peaceful transactions take place in a free market, or agora, hence his term agorism for the society he sought to achieve. He also strongly opposed the idea of intellectual property. Konkin was editor and publisher of the irregularly produced New Libertarian Notes, 1971 to 1975, the New Libertarian Weekly, 1975 to 1978, and finally New Libertarian Magazine, 1978 to 1990. The last issue of which was a special science fiction tribute featuring a Robert A. Heinlein cover, issue 187, 1990. Topic. Controversies Political theorist and anarcho-syndicalist Ulrich Heider, in her book Anarchism, Left, Right, and Green, accused Konkin of endorsing historical negationism in his dealing with the Institute for Historical Review, which included allotting advertisement space to the IHR in New Libertarian, and writing a positive review of James J. Martin's book on Raphael Lemkin, which was published by the IHR. Konkin personally rejected Holocaust denial, but defended the IHR because he believed its freedom of speech was being suppressed. See also Economic secession Victor Komen J. Neil Shulman <laughs>